Hey everyone, welcome to my new watercolor speed paint video and this one is for a painting of called Poppy. Um, the sketch was done in my sketchbook and I never sketched straight onto my watercolor paper. So what I do is I scan the sketch and then I bring it to Photoshop, do the edit I need to do for this. Sometimes I don't do much, I just get it ready for the printer but um, all the time like this when I fixed her uh, eyes and her uh, chin and her nose because they were all out of proportion then I transferred that onto my paper uh, mask off the edges and did the background with a salt wash um, very quick and very pretty after the, the uh, paint was dried I removed the salt and I removed the masking fluid with my eraser and retransferred the detail of the sketch I had lost and then I start on painting my flat colors, or pretty much flat, with very little shading. Um, so I started with the skin tone, then the red for the puppy, and some um, uh, light orange for the hair, and some green for the stems and buds behind the fairy. Um, this painting took me about um, seven and a half hours just for the painting and maybe an hour, an hour and a half for the sketch. The pose was referenced from a picture I found on Pinterest, but then I changed a face, a hair, um, I added the flower, I added the wings, and I changed her expression, and all of that. So that, other than the, you know, the curve of the neck and the shoulder, that's pretty much um, all that was from my original reference and that's how I like to use references um, usually as a pose reference more than anything else so now I'm looking up a picture of a um, puppy is not the picture I used to sketch the original puppy but um, a picture I took and I'm trying to figure out how to shade the flower and now I'm working on the hair and uh, um, that was one of the most important point for me in this painting was to get the hair right I've been working really hard um, there's a few things that I want to you know improve on uh, one of them um, is um, hair and I will draw and paint hair and I feel like with this um, with this painting I've uh, I've reached a point where I'm not so unhappy about how I paint hair it felt a bit more natural and I think the result is pretty cute. Um, of course, there's still room for improvement, and as I paint more, I will get better. Uh, as usual, it's all about practice. Um, but yeah, I've been doing uh, the thing that helped is that I've been drawing every day and doing all kind of different hair every day, and rendering a bit more as well. Now that I'm getting much faster at doing my first like figure sketch, then I can render and give more detail to the uh, sketches including the hair so that helped in the painting as well now you can see me doing the wings and the beauty about using watercolors is that um, watercolors are transparent so I can keep all the details that I've painted um, in the background and the stem and the, and the back of the fairy so that the wings look transparent and, and I re I'm really happy with how that looked in the end it's, I think it's um, one of the most successful part of this painting Overall, I'm really happy with this painting. I like her face. I like her expression. Uh, I like the way she's looking at you, and um, you know, you can read a lot in the, in her in her face, and and I'm really happy about that. Here, I'm doing an overall wash over the hair because I really wanted the hair to uh, stand its ground compared to the puppy because the puppy will be very dark, so I needed the hair to be as as strong as the puppy. Even, and maybe a little bit more even because she's uh, she's in the foreground so she needs to be more detailed than the, the puppy probably that's how I would put it so what helped with the hair and um, what's helping now is that I'm um, instead of um, drawing and painting the strand I'm drawing and painting the shadow created by the strand most of the time and I think that it's helping me understand how the hair is behaving I don't know if that uh, that makes sense but that's how I'm, I'm I'm doing it at the moment and I'm really liking the way it's looking for me anyway maybe you don't like it and that's fine so yeah it um, 
The video is quite fast, but it's still it's still too fast sometimes I feel and not fast enough when you've got to do a commentary over it. I don't know how you guys feel about commentary if you want me to do uh, more of them. I try to vary, I try to do some very quick um, painting with uh, no commentary or very little commentary and just music. Um, some like this video where I do um, a proper full length commentary. You let me know what you like. So here you saw me using a, a chalk pencil to um, sketch a, a swirl around her because I felt like she wasn't integrating in the background and I needed something to bring it all together. So I saw the swirl um, kind of like a fabric, um, whatever you want it to be, um, around her would help. I'm um, um, blending the two together and then I used gouache to paint it um, so I used uh, white gouache and uh, paints grey gouache and then I will use some uh, paints and grey uh, watercolour as well which is a bit darker but I find that my paints grey gouache is a bit light maybe it's just the gouache the brand um, I don't know it's weird and uh, mixing some skin tone and I couldn't get it right it took me a few, a few tries to get the balance right because I want it to be quite purple for the shadows I like to do my shadows purple uh, on skin tone I will change depending on the paint picture painting picture or painting but uh, for this one I wanted purple and I used usually I do something like a primary red uh, new Gamboge at the moment and um, primary blue but this one I used turquoise as my bluish color because I used it in the background and I think I use alizarin crimson that's probably why it took me a few tries to get it to get the balance right because I'm not so used to mixing those colors it's not my default go-to colors I, I really like that what I'm getting I find that alizarin crimson and um, Turquoise create a very pretty, uh, fellow turquoise create a very pretty, what it's called? Purple. <laughs> Purple is the word I'm looking for. Oh, sorry. I was showing you the mess on my desk and I didn't realize that when I was editing the video. I've removed quite a bit, but uh, I've missed a thing or two here and there. And that was really weird going super fast. So now I'm working on the birds, giving them. I did the different um, color layers. So I started with a very green one, and then as I um, add more layers, I move more and more towards um, yellowish green, almost like an olive green at the end. And I'm doing the details on the wing. That was very time consuming, extremely long <laughs> and boring part of the painting. But I think it really had oh, that's my cat um, it really adds to the to the effect I really wanted to paint um, well when I sketched the, the the fairy she had those dragonflies wings so I really wanted to bring that into my painting it was the first time I painted dragonfly wings which um, makes me think that I will probably do a, a dragonfly painting at some point I really like dragonflies their wings are amazing. I, like, I think I like dragonflies more than uh, butterflies, but I haven't been integrating dragonflies so much in my sketches and concept lately. Maybe I should do something about that. So now I'm working back on the swirl. I did some uh, three or four layers on that to get it to the right feel. Showing you some of my sketches and some previous painting. I swear I did edit this video, but apparently not well enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, so after I finish with the watercolors and the gouache, I move on to colored pencil. Um, I, I thought I was going to move on to that now, but on my banant. I think I'm going to deepen the shadows a little bit. Because I felt there was not enough contrast yet. You can see how many layers I've done on the poppy and, and the hair as well. So now I think I'm doing some white highlight. Yes, I am doing some white highlight with my smallest paintbrush, which is a size zero. It's really tiny. I really like it. And I, I'm, I know some artists do a lot and lots and lots of highlights and make 
the painting is very sparkly but I'm not one of them I do like some highlights but not as much I guess I don't know now I'm doing some highlights on the flowers which was a bit more um, challenging to do because I wanted to show the roundness of the petals like they were curling so yeah I think it worked pretty well in the end I did do quite a few, quite a bit of highlight on this uh, on this girl. It's very subtle, but um, I think it works. And now I'm moving on to colored pencil. And here you can see me a bl using a blue pencil to shade the hair. It's the same uh, kind of color as the background, and it helps bringing the picture together. And because it's a complementary color to the orange, that creates a nice neutral when I'm, you know, I'm shading with that. I'm detailing the flyaway hair with um, a red pencil. I didn't have the exact color, but that is quite in, in the same kind of tone, so it worked. I don't have all the, co and the, colored, and the colored pencil that uh, Faber-Castell does, uh, or the polychromos. One day, one day I will. I really like when I did the highlights on the um, uh, center of the puppy, I was really happy with that. I was really happy. I think that looks really nice. Now um, you're even gonna see me trim and uh, uh, painting. It's a nail by and then painting. I planned it like that. Then I put the name on the back of it, and I added a final little touch of ink into the eyebrows, no, eyelashes. Sorry, and the pupils. And I think that's pretty much it for this painting. Uh, if you are interested in buying this painting, it is in my newly opened shop that is not on someone else's website. So there will be a link to buy this painting. Um, and some prints as well, if you want some prints. You can buy the original or the prints in my shop. And yeah, I'll see you very soon in my next video, in the next couple of days I should have something up for you guys so make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video turn on the bell as well it helps you get notification when I post something new and I'll talk to you guys very soon bye everyone